My name's Brad. I'm the upper elementary guide here at Greenswing Montessori. I've been teaching here for three years, and I've been a Montessori guide for seven. In cosmic education, there are five great stories. The great stories are a way to introduce and lay a foundation for the rest of elementary education. Children hear these stories at the beginning of every year from first grade to sixth grade. The first story is about the creation of the universe, and it covers from the Big Bang to the consolidation of particles together, and eventually to the Earth spinning off from the Sun. So it relates our experience of being here on the planet to the Big Bang. The next story is called The Timeline of Life. The Timeline of Life starts with the first, she calls it a little blob of jelly, the first single cell life. And it takes the children from there into the age of single-celled organisms, past that into the first multi-celled organisms. When creatures were living only at the bottom of the sea, their migration upward onto land. And eventually, it ends with the introduction of humans. The next story picks up from there. The story of the coming of human beings talks about a human's unique endowments. We have these hands that can grasp but more importantly, a mind that can think. But most importantly, we have a heart that can love people, not just our family and our friends, but people we've never met before. And that compassion is unique to humankind. Dr. Montessori recognized that and uh, emphasized that to the children. Then the next two stories really go together. The first is the story of language, and the second is the story of mathematics. In the story of language, we talk about the development of the first language. We talk about where a need for language came from for human beings. And we also talk about the development of the alphabet. It started with people drawing pictures, of course. And those pictograms evolved over time. But it was one group of people, the Phoenicians, who took those pictograms and associated them not with their concepts, but with sounds that they made. The Phoenicians then use their alphabet, the very first alphabet, in order to do commerce all across the Mediterranean. That influenced the Greek language, the Greek language influenced the Roman language, and, Roman lang and Latin, the Roman language, then influenced the English language. So we trace our language all the way back to the beginning as a part of the great stories. So storytelling is incredibly important to cosmic education because I can't take the children to the edge of space and I can't take them back in time to meet the Romans and their gods. But I can use that quality of imagination that all elementary children have. And I can activate that through storytelling. And that's really part of the guide's job. In fact, Dr. Montessori and her son Mario thought of the elementary guide not as a guide, as they called the primary teachers. They thought of us as storytellers of the truth. But that's a bit cumbersome to say. <laughs>